It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Buffalo Bills and the Washington Commanders coming up next. We are technically five miles east of Washington, D.C., and that's where you find this place, FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Washington Commanders. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. A CD, these commanders, a last place ball club in 2022. In most cases, you'd say that was a lost season, but they finished 8-8-1, eight, eight and one, 500. That would have won the NFC South. What kind of a chance do you give them in what is certainly a loaded NFC East? And you're exactly right about the division, so you have to be cautious about what you think with this team. They've got to continue to play excellent defense and get some improvement on the offensive side of the ball and establish who their quarterback is going to be. Meanwhile, for the visiting Bills, this is a team that is built to win now. They feel they have all the pieces in place. What say you, CD? I say that exactly. They've got everything that you're looking for, and they're probably operating under a mentality of no roadblocks, no excuses. Let's get after it. Joey Sly set to get us started, and we are underway in our nation's capital. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. Then we see the Bills offense take the field here at quarterback Josh Allen. And it just feels like Allen has the Bills on the cusp of something great. Another 13-win season last year, and they're officially perennial favorites in the AFC. Behind that effort, continued excellence from one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Now a man in for an expanded role in 2023. It's James Cook, and he's going to have a Bills first down as he's able to get this up to the 37-yard line. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Allen. And that is going to be incomplete as he let him a bit too much. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Here's Allen to throw it. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, that was his first target of the game, and it's going to take at least one more target to get him on the board. Took a nice substantial hit to jar that catch loose from him. Incomplete pass. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 38-yard line. How about 25 yards on third down? They'll take it. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Allen now on first down. Flush to his right. And bulldozing his way through. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. Operating from the red zone now, Allen. This will be caught inside the 10. Touchdown, Bills! Allen on target there to Stephon Diggs. And the Bills are on the board first here this afternoon. 
They're the favorite, no question. And when they score like that on the opening drive to set the tone, you're the underdog on the other bench. That's hard, isn't it? Yeah, because you can't bring the home crowd into it because you're counting on that to be a part of your equalizer, ride their momentum but you have to give them something to cheer for. So now what you're worried about is they're better than we are. We can't get going. Are we about to get blown out? Good news, still a long way to go. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Got a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The commander's set to go to work on offense, and they've handed the controls to this man in his second NFL season, former Tar Heel Sam Howell. Howell got the nod from commander's leadership to be the team's starter this year. A nice bump for last year's fifth round pick. One start as a rookie and didn't look bad at all winning the team's finale. And let's not forget, this is a guy who was once viewed as a first round pick. So there's plenty of promise hidden beneath the surface. A little bit of daylight on that first down run sets him up nicely, eight yards on the carry. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. On second down, here's Gibson again. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Second down and eight. Once more, Gibson. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Now third down is looming, a pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Powell throwing on third down here. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down. And you make the home crowd go, shh. There is a hush indeed. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. Deontay Hardy back deep. Taking it about the 16. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Call that a very strong gain of 24. 
Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. A give to Cook out of the gun. And he's going to be stopped close to the first down marker at Washington's 12-yard line. 40-yard line. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. Now on third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 28. 12 yards on third down as the drive rolls on. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it, we can always lock in on the skill position, guys. For those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, that run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. On second down, Cook. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A strong play from last year's second round pick who didn't get a lot of carries as a rookie with the Bills, only 89. But he made the most of them though. A 5.7 yard average, good enough to lead all running backs had he qualified. This is a young man who's proved he's worthy of a more feature role in the Buffalo offense. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit. We decided not to throw it on first down, but give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage, but it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Cook up the gut, and he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Not a big run, not an explosive run, but they've held the ball for plenty of plays on this drive. They're just trying to impose their will on the defense right now. So third and inches, and this will be the ninth play of the drive. Allen now looks to throw. And this pass broken up. The contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. They're going for it. This is Harris. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. Now we get a stoppage because, as you can see, a member of the commander is in some obvious discomfort. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Now Allen. Now he's got it. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. From the two now, second and goal. Cook will take this over the line. Touchdown, Buffalo.
Bass on for the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it was James Cook capping all of that off with a touchdown run. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. And Howe will throw it. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it's second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. Al, he'll look to throw it. Short throw here to the tight end Bates. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. From just across the midfield stripe, here's a second down and six. And once more, Hal back to the air. He'll get this into the hands of Antonio Gibson. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. Seems like all the fireworks in this first quarter have been on the other sideline, but here they're saying, hey, we've got some explosive guys on our side too. And that's a big play in a game that's looking like it might be full of big plays. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Howell out of the shotgun. His throw caught right around the six. And the Commanders are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Howell. Touchdown, Washington. Jahan Dotson, a five-yard touchdown. And the Commanders are back within a score. Well, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Joey Sly on for the extra point. And that one makes it 14 to 7. A drive that time of six plays. And it was Jahan Dotson with a touchdown catch to finish things off. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. 
And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. This guy's proven himself to be one of the best in the NFL. He brings an added dimension to their offense with his ability to read defenses and know when he's able to pull it down and take off and go. Here's Allen on first and 10. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. The Bills with a football as we start quarter number two, as they've got it with a first and 10. Allen going to throw. And that is incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Throwing now is Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 29-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. They'll try the middle with Cook, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 25, here's second and six. Allen. Out to the left, he's got his tight end, Knox. Just a gain of a couple there. And now we've got a third and four. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. To the air, Allen. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. Here's Allen. This is caught. Brent Sherfield, a five-yard touchdown. And the Bills have taken a two-touchdown lead now. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now 21-7. to seven. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. 
Sam Howell and the rest of this offense running back out. Last series, the ball never hit the ground. Six of six, touchdown pass, so whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw seven on seven, or even routes versus eight. Looking for Thomas, but that's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Uh, certainly not his best throw that time and, and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. Allen's throw here taken in by Knox. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. On play action, Allen. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown, Bills. Trent Sherfield with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bills are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. In the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. And I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Here comes the commander's offense back onto the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. On second down, here's Gibson again. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Gibson with the solid pickup there, and the commanders love using his ability in a variety of roles. Led the team with almost 1,400 all-purpose yards in 2022. He can run it and catch it out of the backfield. Gibson again to about the 33-yard line. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Shotgun handoff to Gibson. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Al now to throw it. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down.
Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. Here's Hardy set to return. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And they will take over first and 10. But James Cook in the Buffalo offense returning to work now. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Now a little try again on second down. This throw nearly intercepted. Oh, a big D lineman almost had it. But third down coming up. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. And escapes the sack. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Montez Sweat tracks him down away in the backfield for a loss of 16. Traditionally, as a defense, your number one job, stop the run. But in today's football, it's impacting the opposing quarterback. Make him uncomfortable. And so far, they've not been able to do that. Not at all. He's been really comfortable in the pocket. Three touchdown passes already. So that could be an important first sack if they do want to turn things around. So now on fourth down, Sam Martin on to punt for Buffalo. And taken at the 46. It's a 39-yard punt, eight on the return. And Washington will have a short field here as they take over first and 10. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive, first and 10. Oh, they're gonna run a little pop pass here. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Second down at six now from the 42. Straight ahead, Gibson. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Back to throw, Howell. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. So here we go, fourth down, Howell. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Washington goes for it, but it does not pan out. And the Bills are going to get the football back. Oh, offensive nightmare there. You go for it on fourth, and the play doesn't even really get to develop a sack. And it's so unfortunate, too, because you think you've got something good called, but if your offensive line can't hold up, that's often the result. They find a way back to the quarterback. On first down, Allen, and Diggs has it. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. Man in motion is Sherfield. Now Allen throwing on second down. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. 
And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Starting to rack up the yardage here in this first half. Five catches now and a first down. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. And meanwhile, Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now Allen. And it's caught. Touchdown. Trent Sherfield on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Bills are able to add on to their first-half lead. So not only is that his third touchdown catch of the game, he's done it here in the first half. I'm not sure defensively what they're going to come up with to slow him down because already we're seeing him run past over through guys in order to make these catches and being able to try and shut him down at this stage of the game it's going to take a lot of effort so maybe it'll open things up for some other people well they better figure something out and soon After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And last time they were stopped on fourth down, had a drive stalled out. We'll see how they respond this go around. I'm eager to see what their mindset is because moving the ball, feeling good, and then that abrupt stop on fourth down. Do they go back to the bench and go, oh, boy, they've got something for us? Or do they go to the bench and say, we blew it ourselves. Let's get back out there and move the ball again. And is it different when you get stopped on fourth versus punt? Is that more motivation for the defense, a little more confidence? I think as a defense, you're so excited with a fourth down stop. Making them punt, that's your goal anyway. But a fourth down stop, that's almost a sign of disrespect that they went for it in the first place. And when you get that, you feel great about yourselves. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Third down and one. Third and one. Hal's going to throw it. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner, Tress Way, on to punt the football. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Throwing on first down is Allen. And that nearly trouble, but it's incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it, and it'll be second down. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Here's second and ten. Two 
to throw. It's Allen. And his throw here is incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down, here's a run by Cook. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. The Washington offense set to take over. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that will bring up second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why. They've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. From the gun on third down, Howell. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try to wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. Good call there on first down. And Brandon, I'm getting better over the years and not screaming out, screen, screen, screen with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest. And they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yardage. This second and four. Al looking to throw again. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing into coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Hal. That is caught, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. But with the score where it is, you're not thinking field goals right now. You need touchdowns. So that was a much-needed conversion there on third down. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. Al, he'll look to throw it. And that one too wide and incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops and escape this drive. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the right hash, it's a 38-yard attempt. Sly able to put this one through, and that will do it for this first half. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime report.
We saw some strong work from James Cook in that first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Washington down on the scoreboard, but they are getting the football first here, and we are back underway on EA Sports. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Washington offense ready to go to begin the third quarter. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. And that's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And partner, you know as that team gathers to send each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. It's a gain of maybe three, but it's going to leave them with still about eight or nine to go on third down. Brings up third and ten. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Powell throwing on third down here. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, the margin on that scoreboard, obviously, for them, it looks daunting. But I don't know, Charles. They're probably not focused on that right now. Maybe just chaining together a positive drive with plays like we just saw, giving themselves something to build on. Yeah, I think you're right about that. And what they have to be careful of is getting glued to that scoreboard and trying to do too much. Because if you do that, you're all but guaranteed to start making mistakes. Just focus on one play at a time and make each one successful. And now you have to wonder, partner, at what point in time do they forget the running game? It's been a struggle so far in this one. I would think they'd have to start throwing it a little bit more. On second down, here's Gibson again. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Just a loss of a yard there, but it's not going to help. Now they face a third and 14. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Short throw there caught by Thomas. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it'll be fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Well, it's hard to imagine the first half going any better for them, CD. And now here's they begin their first series of the second half. I mean, they score here. This one, it's pretty much out of reach. We honestly might already be at that point, partner, because this team, they were dominant in the first half, continue to be dominant now. And I think they're viewing this as a put-away drive on their way to a lopsided victory. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Allen. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because 
He really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. 49 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person that's on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. And that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching. And there was another first down run right there. They run again on first down. Cook, and he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. Allen looks to throw on second down. Caught right side, Davis. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here, and now they're set up with a first and goal. Now Allen off the bootleg. Eluding the pressure. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Not the first and goal play they drew up. Multiple defenders in to bring him down to the ground. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Allen now looks to throw. He's got the hook up with Diggs. Really nice gain on the completion. However, still third and goal that they face now. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Harris. And Harris is not going to get there. Great work defensively to stop him short. No gain on the play. And what to do now on fourth and goal? I apologize in advance, partner, but the beef eaters on the interior of this D-line you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. Well, we got beef eaters licking their chops and tasty dish in one fell swoop. I did apologize in advance, didn't I? Yeah, you did. That line's not eating tofu, I'll tell you that much for free. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side of you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting to be a part of the game. Well, he got in and got it done. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. Here's Antonio Gibson. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. So out comes Washington's offense to take over. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Powell. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. 
Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there as they were able to connect. 42 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. But they went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. On first down, right back to Gibson. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Here now, second and four. They'll go again with Gibson. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. A give up the middle to Gibson. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From just shy of midfield, here's second down and seven. This time, they'll throw it with Hal. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. Seven yards there and a first down. Howell out of the shotgun. Over the middle, brought in by Dotson. So the completion good for six yards at its second down. Back to the ground with Gibson. And give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass, but in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right, it might go to them in this game. I like that, MVU. And Gibson looking for some kind of opening, but he has none. They rally up to stop him short of the marker. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything, change it up, because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. They'll run for it with Robinson. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. At first glance, I actually wasn't sure that he got it, but he ended up getting it by about a full yard. He certainly did, but it took a little effort, didn't it? Took some nice push, a little crease inside, and some determined running to make sure that he got the first down. So a moment to catch our collective breath after the fourth down conversion. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. 
No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Second down throw for Howell. Thomas brings it in. Touchdown, Washington. Logan Thomas, 32 yards. And the Commanders get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Well, it seemed like they were so focused elsewhere, they forgot about the tight end spot, and he's the one that burns them there to make this a three-score game here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. I think there might be a little bit of defensive fatigue from those guys on that side of the ball, partner, because they've been spending their time trying to stop them from all angles. This time, the tight end gets them. The extra point by Sly is up and good, and that'll cut the lead back down to 21. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football. You're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge onto the field, fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. He'll dump this off to Cook. And he'll get nothing out of that one. So he stopped for no gain. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Now they couldn't get anything going there out on the right side in the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. Throwing is Allen on third. Throw out wide is incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. And the Washington offense heading out. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Second down and a yard. Here's Hal to throw on second down. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide, and these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Out of the gun, it's Howell. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. 
Another throw for Howell. Dancing to his left. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. The improv act there, good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still, some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. They'll go play action. Howell. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And they're at the point in the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Commanders went for it, but they cannot pick up the first. And the Bills are going to get the football back. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth. And we've seen them do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. And he'll get this up to about the 40. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and in inches situation. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. They'll run it. Here's Cook. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. That winds up being a four-yard loss and leads to fourth down. When this offense gathers to watch the tape, they're going to like a lot of what they saw. They put up big numbers, but they might fast-forward through that last play. Oh, there won't be any fast-forwarding, partner. I've sat in those sessions before. You end up spending more time on the bad plays than you do on the good ones. It's just the nature of coaches. But I know sitting in that room, when you've had a big game, the night that they've had, you don't want to hear that. You just want to focus on the good stuff. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because... And now off to the races, down the right side. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 86 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that. The nickel look, five cents, five DBs. But what also happens then? You take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off, okay? So they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender ended up making a nice play even though it was complete second catch for him today and it'll wind up a first down well i can put my defensive cap on right now and i know they're saying don't give up any big plays now they've controlled this game throughout 
and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. On second down, a run with Gibson. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Al down to throw it. And that one to the right side and incomplete. The frustration evident there because he couldn't find anyone on third down and he left no doubt that he was throwing that one away. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Fourth down, Hal, desperation time. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. Ron Rivera, the gambling type, but he comes up empty here. And the Bills are going to get the football back. Well, that's the fourth time that they've tried to go for it on fourth down. They've only converted once, Charles. And obviously not a good percentage. And if you're going to go for it on fourth down, do you think that you've got the right play dialed up? You can't be stopped. Your momentum's going to keep going. But one for four, that tells you that you need to look at things in a different way, and you need to tip your cap to the defense. They've done a great job. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. The Bills on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This is third and four. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. That is caught. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Seven catches for him now in this last one. A first down. Well, a clear running situation. Try to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play. Set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever because they had shown the ability to run the football. So now you lose your keys as a defense. You dive for the running play, and they hit him over the top. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll try and wind down some clock with Cook. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Second and 10. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. 67 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. As many games as the two of us do, I would hope that one day we'll be able to solve this riddle. Why is it on a hot day that one team has more trouble with the heat than another, and especially when you can't stop a guy running the ball. You know it's September in the booth, though, when you and I have both removed our coats, and those <laughs> were gone in the first quarter. They were gone in the first quarter, and what we're watching now is a defense mentally giving in and sagging a little bit because they haven't been able to stop him. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. His big game continues. Already has the three touchdown grabs, tacking on some more yardage and a first down. And how precise has his route running been in this game? We just saw him get open yet again, and he's also made adjustments as the defense has tried to really stop him. First down, here's the run with Cook. 
And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And even playing on the road, the class of this ball club just too much to overcome. Yeah, deep down, I think even the fans knew how this one was going to turn out. All right, they, they just came to support their team, hope they'd see some good football, and they did. But they didn't really expect their team to win. In fact, they probably came in and said, let's win the tailgate. Because that, <laughs> that's where we have the advantage, and I bet they did that. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we sign off from Landover.